Hello everyone, welcome to iPad for teaching and uh, productivity series. In this video, I would like to demonstrate an app called Explain Everything. Uh, you can download this app from App Store for USD $2.99. It's not free, but I can say it is one of the most uh, useful app on my iPad. Okay, to give you some idea how we can use this app, uh, I'll demonstrate, I'll show and one example of uh, a video tutorial produced by Han Academy. Okay, let me just play this video from the beginning. We now know what an oxidation state or an oxidation number is and what it, it means when things are oxidized or reduced. And let's see how that actually happens in reactions. So what we're going to study in this video is oxidation, oxidation, slash reduction. Okay, there's one example. Maybe we find, uh, find another example on maybe mats here. Um, because Salman Khan or Sal is very good with uh, mathematics. Actually, he started doing his uh, video tutorial. When we're dealing with basic on arithmetic, math, we see uh, the concrete subject. numbers there. We'll see 23 plus 5. We know what these numbers are right over here, and we can calculate them. It's going to be 28. We can say 2 times 7. We could say 3 divided by 4. In all of these cases, we know exactly what numbers we're dealing with. As we start entering into the algebraic world, and you probably have seen this a little bit already, we start dealing with the ideas of variables. Okay, this is one example of how we can use a video to produce um, a tutorial or uh, a presentation which uh, we can uh, show to our students or we can upload to YouTube just like Sal did uh, and to share with, uh, with the world. So we, uh, we can produce um, similar kind of presentation uh, using explain everything on the iPad and it's very very easy to use this app to produce any kind of dynamic presentation uh, on the fly. You can use this app to produce lessons, activities, assessment, tutorial, then we can save it on our iPad or we can uh, upload the video uh, directly to YouTube. So let me show you how to use this app. So this is the one, explain everything. So the first screen that um, you can see here, these are the list of uh, presentation which I have produced and I save it on my iPad. Okay, to create something like this, it's very simple actually. Um, you can hear on the top, uh, left hand corner here so you can create a new project here and um, just click that and you have a choice to start with bl with a blank project which um, in this case you will get a, a blank white uh, screen which we can use as uh, a whiteboard and you can start writing on the on the white screen and narrating and explaining whatever that you are doing on the screen. So this is actually a good way to simulate the whiteboard that we use um, you know, in the classroom. Then in the, the next one, we have uh, import from Evernote, import from Dropbox. Um, this import from Dropbox here, uh, if you have your PowerPoint or Keynote presentation uh, in the original format, or if you have a PowerPoint save in the PDF format, you can save in the Dropbox then you can import the file from Dropbox into this uh, into this app. We can also import photos and import from other cloud storage, in this case Box, which is another uh, cloud storage which uh, we can use. So for now, um, I will choose import from Dropbox. So it will open my Dropbox. I have uh, actually set this app to connect to my uh, Dropbox uh, storage and you can see here these are some of the, uh, the file I have on the Dropbox so for this purpose I will open this folder and I want to bring in um, this stash home file in the, the PDF file in this case 
I have saved my PowerPoint uh, slides in the PDF format, which is uh, which I would um, recommend because um, that will make sure all the formatting, the font, and the other formatting in the in the PowerPoint would not change. But of course, you will lose the transition and animation that you might have on your PowerPoint. So you can see on the top uh, right hand right hand corner here. So if you click that, choose meaning that we want to choose this uh, presentation and now we will bring it and load the, doc the, the, the document or the PDF file in this case into um, this app so let me first uh, explain what are the various tools you have on the uh, on, on the left hand corner here and these are the tools we can use to um, during the during the presentation or during the recording but first probably the most important at the bottom here the red button here this is where you can um, if you press that one you if you press the red button then you can start uh, record everything that you do on your ipad screen including the audio uh, narration and you can also use the pen tool here to write uh, while you are explaining the presentation so from the top here um, this uh, this this uh, this tool or this icon you press the, this icon to create a new slide and this one to view the slide um, to, to view the list of uh, the thumbnail of slides that you have in your presentation and the, the third one is actually the pen tool if I press this then you have the option to choose colors different colors and you have the option to uh, choose a different uh, pen thickness and also to set the transparency of the pen and the pen tip the type of pen tip solid ink or um, I don't know fuzzy ink and the third tool here is actually the um, the laser tool so you can uh, use this to point to any part in the presentation while you are explaining uh, the slide and the next one is actually the arrow tool so you can use this to um, produce uh, to create or to, to use uh, arrow or any shape that you might want to use in your presentation to indicate something then the next one is a text tool here and of course the text tool you can use this to um, add text and the next one is actually um, to bring image or to insert image into this presentation from uh, your photo roll in the iPad for or directly you can take using the camera on the iPad or you can uh, import from the Dropbox you can actually have a, a blank slide if I click add new slide so you have the white blank screen screen which you can use as a whiteboard okay if I choose a pen now uh, let me choose this uh, black color and this thickness so you can start writing uh, and explain say about uh, anything can change color at any time you can insert image say from the photo roll let me say this one okay and uh, you can uh, edit the image if you like um, can use the finger to resize the image or to rotate the image and after you have done or you can crop you can uh, use any uh, of the editing tool here on the top right hand corner and after you have uh, finished you can click done can then you can uh, move the photo around anywhere yeah, to uh, place it at the appropriate please so um, 
you can use this app as a whiteboard interactive uh, whiteboard and you can create a dynamic presentation while recording just like you use the whiteboard in the classroom okay let me just uh, demonstrate very quickly how to use this app to create a, uh, a presentation on the iPad and uh, I already have my uh, slide here uh, this is actually my PowerPoint slide uh, saved as a PDF um, so to start a presentation we simply press the red button so it's already it's recording now you can see um, so I'll just make a short example here hello everyone uh, welcome to, to this um, okay I will press this uh, laser button I will use arrow here so I would like to explain this uh, topic development of starch based uh, foam food containers which is my uh, one of my research topic uh, right now okay uh, now I want to use a pen maybe uh, I want to use orange color so I will explain first what's the meaning of foam and why we want to use a starch based um, material to develop the food containers and uh, I can use arrow okay basically uh, I can continue to do the presentation while you are doing um, this presentation you can use the various tools here such as the laser pointer and the pen the pen tools to write and other tools uh, which we can use to help our presentation so once we are done we can um, you can also pause at any time by clicking force or you can stop uh, the whole uh, presentation after you have finished recording the presentation the next thing that you want to do is, is to save the presentation so for example um, you can see the tools on the bottom uh, right hand corner so if you click this one uh, it will uh, give you option to save the presentation to the photo roll to YouTube you can upload uh, directly to YouTube or to send through email or to send to the Dropbox or you can export it as an image in various format okay that's how uh, we can use um, a simple app called explain everything on the iPad to produce an interactive dynamic uh, presentation so you can uh, narrate your PowerPoint uh, and uh, produce, produce it as a short uh, 10 or 15 minutes uh, lecture then after that you can uh, upload to YouTube so let me show you one example of my own uh, video lecture which I have uh, prepared on the iPad and I uh, have down uploaded this to YouTube so this uh, how hello everybody like. this is a topic on uh, food crystallization and in this lecture I will focus on or I will discuss on the conditions required for crystallization as you can see on the slide here products like chocolate or margarine consist of uh, fat crystals where do these crystals come from so for example in in the chocolate the crystals actually uh, or come from the cocoa butter this cocoa butter is actually okay I think you got the idea so as uh, you have seen it's not actually very difficult to produce uh, this type of presentation all you need is uh, the iPad and the app uh, which is uh, explain uh, everything you can buy for two dollars ninety nine cent and I would uh, I would say that it's a very very useful app uh, you can use on the iPad to produce this uh, kind of presentation so I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, listening.